This is my favorite European airline, and in this video, I'm gonna show you why. In fact, they're not only my favorite airline in Europe, but after this trip, I can confirm that they're one of my favorite airlines in the world. What I'll also share are my in-depth thoughts on this airline's revolutionary new business class, which I haven't tried until now. Finnair, the majority state-owned flag carrier of Finland, recently introduced a business class that does not recline. That's right, the seat has no important motorized features, no real armrests, nothing. It seems like a massive step back, especially when the airline already had such good seats. So what I'm about to tell you will probably come as a surprise. Join me to learn about what makes this product so unique as we spend a full day traveling from Europe to the Middle East in Finnair's business class. If you're new here, you might think, why listen to me? Who is this random dude? I'm Nonstop Dan, a half Sweden, half American who has been obsessed with airplanes for as long as I can remember. Over the past eight years, I've been lucky to call reviewing airlines my full-time job, and in that time, I've flown 150 different airlines, always self-funded. Nothing makes me happier than seeing you guys have an amazing trip after following my advice. So I hope this video helps you with your choices. Today's trip starts in Gothenburg, Sweden, where Oscar and I had been visiting family over the holidays. For our first of two legs, we're flying a Nora ATR-72, operating on behalf of Finnair. For me, two hours is definitely above the limit of how long I want to spend on a regional jet. The Finnair ATR does have plentiful legroom, but it still feels cramped for such a long journey. Most disappointingly, it doesn't offer an intra-European business class cabin, so although we originally booked on an Embraer 190 in business class, Finnair downgraded to an ATR, thereby downgrading us as well. The price we paid for this ticket in cash was pretty incredible though, so it's hard to complain. More on that at the end of the video. What feels like an eternity later, we are approaching Helsinki. After two weeks of no snow and constant clouds in Gothenburg, I let out a little satana perkele as we approach the gate in this glorious winter sunshine. Today, we get to walk through the snow from the aircraft to the gate. Okay, we made it to Helsinki, and now it's time for a little walk through the freezing cold before four hours here, and then another flight. I'm smoking outside the smoking zone. Honestly, it's freezing cold, but I love it so, so much. This is much better than walking through heat or through rain. It's the most refreshing feeling possible after a two hour flight. Helsinki Airport offers among the lowest minimum connection times in Europe, and all I can say is that this is a connector's dream. Signage is excellent, distances are relatively short, and the vibes are immaculate. love the wooden floors in an airport. It reduces the sound, it feels so cozy and homey. Helsinki Airport knows how to do it. After five minutes, we reach passport control, which we clear within seconds and head to the non Schengen area, which is even more awesome. Here, naturally, we find the crown jewel of Finnair lounges, the Platinum Wing. As a One World Emerald member, I have access to what I believe is the fourth best lounge in all of Europe. That includes first class lounges. The most unique amenity on offer is as Finnish as it gets, saunas. These pair nicely with private shower rooms and stunning bathrooms with calming music, bird song, luxury Swedish soap, and hand towels. The lounge itself has a bar with a huge variety of drinks along with an equally impressive variety of seating areas. We settle in with two blueberry cocktails, and I wish you could all try them because mm, Finnair knows how to do blueberry stuff. Imagine fresh ginger, real blueberries, rosemary, mm, 
perfection. After a quick Zoom meeting, it's time for lunch. There's a full sit-down restaurant with kitchenware from Finnish upscale brand Itala, with a la carte options and a full buffet. All dishes clearly list the allergens, and there's a nice mix of healthy and decadent options. The buffet is the same you'll find in the business class lounge. The menu, on the other hand, is wonderfully Nordic and makes me so happy. Oscar and I ordered two vegan Beyond Burgers from the most professional and friendly waiter I have ever met in a Nordic country, and that says a lot having grown up in Sweden. The burgers arrive, and this is the point where the lounge wins us over. The fries are perfectly crispy and fresh. The burger is topped with some Nordic essentials like pickled onion and chanterelles. We spent our final half hour in Helsinki in the cozy section, as I've named it. This is so much better than any other lounge offered by a European One World airline, even better than British Airways' exclusive Concord room. The only lounges that, in my opinion, are better are all first class and don't allow access with regular status. The Swiss first class lounge in Zurich, the Lufthansa first class terminal in Frankfurt, and I imagine the Air France La Première lounge. That's insane, considering Finnair doesn't even have a first class cabin. As we chill here, I work on my New Year's resolution, going from knowing how to say gracias para vivar en la casa to, I don't know, something actually useful in Spanish. And I'm so excited to share a language learning app that really takes things to the next level. Today's awesome video sponsor, Speakly. I don't want learning to feel like a chore, which is why I love how flexible Speakly is. They offer speaking, reading, writing exercises, along with, wait for it, music recommendations in the language you're trying to learn. Their research-based methodology helps you learn languages five times faster compared to what you're accustomed to. And don't worry about learning things you'll never use. Speakly teaches you real life sentences so you can get out there and apply your new skills straight away. If you want to try Speakly's app for iOS and Android, you can do so for free for seven days and get 60% off an annual plan by tapping that link at the top of the description. Why not improve yourself in 2023 and learn a new language, right? Soon you'll be saying, Gracias, Nonsatan, por presentarme Speakly. Thanks, Oscar. <laughs> I'm so grateful to my sponsors for making my objective self-funded reviews possible and to you guys for supporting them. With that, let's head to the gate past, what's that? A Moomin Cafe? As if the Finnair travel experience wasn't cute enough already. So today I'm flying Finnair's retrofitted A330 and it's part of a fascinating setup with Qatar Airways. Finnair just recently launched this route from Stockholm, Copenhagen and Helsinki to Doha and the reason is very interesting. You may have noticed that Qatar Airways is outsourcing a bunch of routes to its partners like British Airways, Malaysia Airlines and as I predicted, Finnair. The reason is that they have a huge aircraft shortage due to the A350 groundings and Finnair just happens to have a huge aircraft surplus due to the closure of the most valuable part of their market, Russian and Ukrainian airspace. So what happens on this flight is that Qatar Airways actually buys a bunch of the seats from Finnair. Let's check out the seat map database to see exactly what I mean. Finnair's retrofitted A330-300 features a total of 28 business class seats between door 1 and 2 in a 1 to 1 configuration. On routes operated in partnership with Qatar Airways, the seats are broken up in a fascinating way. Finnair sells seats 1 through 3 Lima and 1 to 2 Delta and Hotel. These 7 seats can be sold and assigned by Finnair. The rest belong to Qatar Airways and cannot be touched by Finnair even if a passenger asks for one of those seats at the gate. Also, premium economy is not sold on these routes, meaning that economy class passengers booking through Qatar Airways have access to premium economy seats for free. Pretty good hack there, guys. Having booked through Finnair, I opt for 1 and 2 Lima. The only seats to avoid here are the window seats in row 7 since they're missing windows. Not fun. The rest are all, well, what do I think of them? That's up next. Welcome aboard Finnair's new business class called Air Lounge. Seeing it in photos didn't prepare me for what it felt like being on board. There is no doubt in my mind that this is the best E330 business class in the world. 
The middle rows have partitions that can be raised or lowered depending on whether or not you want to be able to easily geek out over how amazing everything is with the person next to you. All window seats are created equal, which is relatively rare in business class on an A330. And my goodness, this seat is so innovative. I'm dying to show you around. As I settle in, the first thing I notice is how cozy the seat feels. It's completely private, it's wide, it has calming light wood finishes, and craziest of all, Oscar pointed out that the large amount of fabric actually creates a pocket of silence that's really noticeable when sitting down since it absorbs a lot of the engine sound. What do I mean by lying down? This seat doesn't even recline. Precisely, and that might be one of the most trailblazing moves in modern memory for business class. This not only reduces reduces the risk of the seat's malfunctioning, which can ruin people's flights or risk losing and crushing electronic devices in the many metal parts, but it greatly decreases the seat weight, which is a huge win for sustainability. If you want to bed, you merely press the only seat control button that exists, which raises the leg rest, which you can then extend by manually releasing this section. Voila! Here is your bed. More on whether or not it's comfortable a little later. By the way, I'm not done here. The seat also has plenty of storage, including down by the legs with two large storage bins for laptops and such, or next to you where you'll find all your in-flight electronics, in addition to this surface which, hello, has wireless phone charging. The bulkhead also has an extra storage compartment here. One concern I had about this seat was the lack of armrests, and I think Finnair solved that in a pretty genius way, introducing the most versatile in-flight pillows in the world. These firm little bad boys act as your recline by supporting your back or as armrests if you place them by your side. Pretty much any seating position is achievable thanks to these. You can sit leaning against the side or even cross-legged. Shortly after boarding, the crew welcomed me on board and offer a choice of champagne, blueberry juice, and I think water as pre-departure beverages. I opt for the godsend that is blueberry juice, which is served in the iconic Itala melting glass. At this point, we settle in for a six hour, 45 minute flight from Helsinki to Doha, lifting off at a quarter past four local time and touching down just before midnight. Stay tuned for the impressive in-flight experience coming up next. Almost immediately after takeoff, the crew spring into action, closing the curtains and coming by to take meal orders. If you haven't noticed already, everything Finnair does incorporates elements of Finland, from the glassware to the blankets and the amenity kit to the mostly Nordic-inspired dishes that all sound pretty special to me. The drink list is equally impressive, and within 20 minutes of departure, I'm served a blueberry spritz mocktail and some heated barbecue flavored nuts, which I quickly discover are the tastiest nuts I've ever had on a plane. And get your mind out of the gutter, please. These are accompanied by a beautifully scented hot towel. The attention to detail here is remarkable in every aspect of the product, from the seat to the dining. There is just one thing that's a fail. The power port is located beneath your feet, which is fine until you get into bed mode and it suddenly becomes inaccessible. Then again, there is a USB-C port in the side compartment, which not only is rare, but can charge most MacBooks and other devices anyway. Speaking of charging, um, let's charge me up with some food as we enjoy a never-ending sunset outside because we're flying southwest to avoid Ukrainian airspace. 70 minutes after takeoff, the crew served my appetizers and the main course on a tray. The presentation obviously isn't very impressive, but let me tell you, I completely forget about that when I taste this food. I'll just put it out there and say Finnair clearly has the highest quality business class catering in Europe besides Turkish Airlines. Every single dish is well thought out and absolutely delicious. And to my fellow plant-based eaters, this puts other European airlines to shame. We get to enjoy a marinated and roasted slice of tofu with a sweet Nordic inspired mustard sauce, peanuts, and Nordic pickles. The next appetizer is an insanely flavorful roasted carrot hummus, and the main is a luscious creamy chickpea stew with perfect perfectly cooked basmati rice and some lentil chili. And this isn't even the best part. 
Next up, the crew comes around to offer dessert. If you watch a lot of my videos, you'll know that the plant-based dessert is usually fruit nine out of 10 times. Well, Finair has very different plans for us. They have loaded not one, but two vegan dessert options per person, how can I say no? I have to have both. When I tell you this dairy-free cheesecake blows my mind. The blackcurrant mousse is just as good, if not better. I enjoy these with some of the nicest presented business class tea in the world. They even bring a cup for your tea bag. Now, are you ready for some disappointing parts? Okay, I'm sorry, there are no disappointing parts coming up. On the contrary, Finner's entertainment system also blows me away. The IT is so top notch and everything has been considered. They use QR codes to speed all types of things up. The in-flight map looks like this. How cool. And the entertainment selection is way above average. Not only that, but the Wi-Fi on board is fast. And although it's not cheap, it's also not too expensive for unlimited data. The headphones on offer are also quite good, but the best part is that they hang seamlessly in the side storage compartment where their plug is, again showing how much thought went into the seat design. And the same thought has gone into the bed, which I'll share in a moment. But first, I can't forget to check out the collectible Marimeko amenity kit, which contains all the essentials, but they could add a pen or some tissues. Another amenity they provide is these slippers, which you best believe I'm stealing from the empty seat next to me to take an extra pair home. I wear those slippers to visit the bathroom, which is clean and stocked with the same amazing products as the lounge and the amenity kit. At this point, I think we're all ready for the most important question. How is the bed in a business class seat that doesn't recline? I can already see comments from people saying this is an ad, it's sponsored. I have one thing to say to that. Shut up! <laughs> I pay for all my own flights and don't take any perks from airlines so I can be honest and I can honestly say I think I've found my favorite business class bed in the world besides a and &E, The Room. As the famous saying goes, what do you call a business class bed that's private and spacious? First class. Okay, I just made that up, but it's true, except here. There's a mattress pad to help soften the otherwise quite hard surface and it's funny because more than half your body is under the seat in front of you. Still, somehow it's so comfortable. I'm genuinely shocked. To make things even better, all seats have individual air vents to control the temperature. I spend the rest of the flight working from bed, feeling proud to be from a neighboring country to this airline, and feeling relieved to finally be blown away by a Nordic airline that I can wholeheartedly support. About halfway to Doha, the crew come around with a huge box filled with different snacks like chocolates, nuts, candy, and chips which I enjoy with an orange and ginger fizz mocktail and my third bottle of water. All three are delicious, not that I expected to have strong opinions on the water. I work the rest of the flight until about 90 minutes before landing when the crew turn on the lights and hand out another round of scented hot towels. This is followed by the most Nordic dish I can imagine. Basically, this hot dish to the right is vegetable fritters with mashed potato and tomato sauce. If presented with a dish from every country in the world, this is probably one of the last I choose. But as far as this goes, Finnair has done a good job. The side salad and fruit are just as flavorful as vegetables and fruit tend to be in the Nordics, where we're lucky to have access to such high quality produce. And of course, I can't leave Finnair without one last blueberry juice. As we approach Doha, I binge three episodes of Friends season 10. And before I know it, we touch down and are condemned to a bus gate. So what insane deal did I get on this ticket and what are my concluding thoughts? That's coming up next. I'm not going to waste too much time on this conclusion. In a nutshell, try Finnair's new business class if you haven't already. This flight completely blew me away and I cannot wait to fly Finnair again. 
So I paid for this ticket in cash. You're gonna die when I tell you. I paid $350 one way from Gothenburg to Dubai, which is such a good deal that sadly isn't available anymore. The problem is that my Dubai flight had an equipment swap from the new business class to the old. And the whole purpose of taking this flight was to experience their new airline seat. So I had to change my flight to go to Doha instead. In the future, I'll be redeeming British Airways Avios for this route for an incredible price of approximately 37,000 miles one way from Doha to Helsinki, Stockholm, or Copenhagen. Taxes are also quite minimal. Anyone in the world can buy those points on sale, but better yet, my American viewers can get an amazing sign-up bonus on the British Airways card from Chase. You can earn up to 100,000 points, which can be redeemed for all types of flights, just don't redeem them on British Airways. Try redeeming on Finnair or Qatar Airways instead at great rates, and check out that card in the description below. With that, why don't you check out my flight and Finner's old business class to see how that compares now. I can't wait to see you all in the next video coming out in 10 days. Until then guys, fly safe.